Finally this evening, loneliness, an issue as we've been finding out this week that can affect us all. Today we're focusing on new mums. A recent survey by the British Red Cross found almost half of them feel lonely most or all of the time. Well, for the latest in our Many Faces of Loneliness series, we've been speaking to Amy Nickell from Hertfordshire, whose life changed dramatically when she had her son. Can you draw Flamingo? Flamingo? OK, I'll try. When Freddie was born, I almost felt like I was having my maturity and adulthood taken away from me because I was suddenly living back at home with my parents. And I, I felt like all my independence had kind of dissolved. I'd been working um, for an internet company as the red carpet presenter and reporter. I was talking to people, planning ideas, going out and chatting to everyone on the red carpet, having loads of fun, constantly surrounded by people. And no one wants to move back in with their parents when they're 24. Um, I didn't want to leave my friends. I didn't want to leave my job. I love you as high as I can reach. There was no way I could afford rent in London and childcare together, so one had to give. Um, when I first had Freddie, my friends were incredibly supportive, but then once the novelty wore off, I don't think my friends are the type of people that want to particularly be around children. I do feel left out quite often, especially when they make plans at the last minute and I can't go and no one seems to appreciate that I can't go, or, or, or maybe sometimes that I don't want to do stuff without Freddie. Come on then. I've got friends that are mums, uh, Freddie's nursery friends' mums, but I don't really feel like I fit in completely with them. OK, ready? Yes. Come on then, let's go. They're all married. Most of them are a lot older than me. So there is a, there's a gap. Hold hands, hold hands, hold hands. Being Freddie's mum is amazing, it's the best part of my life. But it has been a little challenging to get here and ultimately I have had to learn to adapt. Amy Nicole sharing her story.